Daily Alake, the spokesman for the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council, has made some rather startling allegations against members of the obedient movement. As you know, the obedient movement is the movement around Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. He said that obedience are calling for a military takeover if Peter Obi is not declared as the winner of the Saturday, February 25, 2023 presidential elections. Now, in all fairness to him, uh, I did uh, watch a video from a certain prophet, Ritabi, uh, who's based in Plato and who actually did call for that. Um, he appears to be an obedient and uh, there's been, you know, like a smattering of such calls uh, from the background, but no official of the Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council or the Labour Party has actually made that call. So I don't know if you can um, blame them for what people in their movement are saying. Anyway, watch this video and comment in the comment section. And brings to, in fact, some obedience are they calling for the return of the military. Absolutely. They are not declared the winner Absolutely. of this election. And that is very, very sad. That will show you that these are not Democrats. And I, I repeat, I repeat, because they never took part in the democratic struggle, they never acted in deepening and sustaining this democracy. It is easy for them to want to scuttle it. But those of us who are part and parcel of the democratic struggle, we knew what we went through. Our principal went through the crucibles, harassment, oppression, suppression, and the whole works to get this democracy in place. So we are prepared to nurture it. And the results in Lagos is also an eloquent testimony to the fairness of this process. Absolutely. If anything, any lesson is to be drawn from the Lagos results today, it is that when Ashiwa Jubala Metinubu is eventually declared by the umpire Heineck as the legitimately elected president of this country, nobody should complain Absolutely. about the process because the process has been demonstrably fair and just as exemplified by the results in Lagos, which we are not even contesting now. We are taking it in our strides as Democrats, but it is a testimony to the freeness and fairness of this process. So let nobody come and complain when we are declared.